Well, that's one way to get welcomed home. <laughs> it is snowing quite hard right now. There's a little bit sticking right here, but for the most part, I think it's just a little bit too warm for there to be much accumulation. But it's nice. It's nice to see snow. If it's going to be too cold to herp, I'd rather it snow. So it's at least interesting and a change of scenery. But yeah, we got a nice little blizzard going on here, a little Georgia blizzard. Good evening, everyone. It has been a couple of days since you last saw me, and for good reason, because today is the first time since I got back from Florida that it has been anything but oppressively cold outside. Last night was really cold, it got down below freezing, but tonight it's supposed to be warmer, and then tomorrow is going to be decently warm as well. And after tomorrow, we're gonna be back to freezing overnights and days where highs are not getting out of the 30s. So I wanted to take advantage of these two decently warm days to get out and at least try to get one local video cranked out this week. Probably gonna be mostly salamanders, but I mean, it'll be warm enough for snakes to be out, so maybe we'll luck up and stumble across one. But the mission today is to check out a wetland close to my house that I haven't been to this winter and just check up on the local amphibians, see what we can turn up out there. So I'm gonna start with flipping a couple logs right here by the parking lot. And we'll see if there's anybody undercover. Nobody under that one. One of my friends went out yesterday and uh, had a really good salamander day, even though the high temperature was in the 30s. So I'm hoping that with today being warmer, it'll be at least decent out here. Nobody under the first couple logs though. Well, first herp of the day is a reptile. Here's a nice green anole sitting outside of his log. Temperature is like 46 right now. It's supposed to get up to about 50. But uh, this guy seems like he's enjoying his warm spot right there, so we're not going to mess with him. But first harp of the day, nice green and all. Sitting out on this brisk winter afternoon. This area is another beaver wetland. You can see over there, that bank is nice and sunny. It will be a great place for a snake to be basking on a day like today. So I think we're going to try to work our way around the far end of this wetland and maybe get on that bank. All right, sunny side of the beaver pond. I think, uh, that's a big thorn right there. I'm gonna go around. I think this habitat could actually be really good for snakes in the early spring. And potentially even on a day like today, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Even though it is getting a lot of sun and there's a lot of good potential hibernacula. Nice holes like that. The big snakes can get underground. I think largely due to the amount of rain we've had recently, a lot of the logs down in the floodplain have been picked up by the water and moved just because of the floods. So this particular area hasn't had too many logs to flip that actually look good. And I haven't seen a single salamander. So I think I'm gonna go over to an area with more rocky creeks that aren't as prone to heavy flooding and see if I can find a spring salamander in this area. And here is a classic first salamander of the day in classic habitat. This is the spotted dusky salamander. You know them, you love them. Very common, obviously. We see them just about any time we're in a creek habitat like this. So, not too surprising we started off with one today. I'm just going to move them out of the way and put your rock back. You can hear the chorus frogs calling in the background, but I just flipped something we haven't seen many of this winter. I can find where he went. Come here, buddy. That right there is a southern redback salamander. These guys tend to be very common this time of year, but uh, we haven't been seeing too many this season. I think that's largely just because we've been hitting a lot of areas that we don't normally herp. And these guys tend to be very localized. They're very common where they're at, but there's lots of places that they just are absent from. Locally common, but still a kind of mysterious little salamander around here. I'll put him back under his rock. There you go, buddy. Wouldn't be too surprised if we see a couple more of those today. Here's another little Conan tie, if I can get him to... There he goes. Well, there he is. Out of the way. Been seeing lots of those today, but none of our target species, unfortunately. This particular creek, I have only ever seen one spring salamander in, and uh, I've only seen one 
one adult that is, I've raked up a couple of larvae, so I know they're here. They're just super hard to find in this particular creek for whatever reason. And really in this whole county. But if we fail today, I'm probably gonna go to an area where we'll have a really good shot at seeing a spring salamander tomorrow and even a decent chance at snakes, assuming they come out. So I'm gonna work the rest of this creek and if I don't see anything else, it's not the end of the world because we're gonna be going out tomorrow too. So this big area of boulders right here is an area I've seen snakes out basking very early in the season in January on really cold days for the most part. I don't see any snakes yet, but there is another green anole right there. So the reptiles are out enjoying the weather today. Just not the, uh, the legless kind. All right, everyone, I'm slowly making my way back to the car at this point. If I see anything else, I'll definitely let you know, but it's kind of seeming like it's a little bit dead out here today. Hopefully tomorrow's warmer temps will be a little bit better and uh, we'll be able to turn up some more interesting stuff. So if I don't see anything else between here and the car, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Unfortunately, yesterday wasn't terribly productive, but that's what today's for. It's currently around 60 degrees and I just got out here, so I'm gonna flip a little bit of 10. And then if we can't find any snakes, we're gonna go look for salamanders. So let's see. This stuff is kinda in the sun. It's not super warm to the touch. It's also kind of damp, which is not good for this time of year. That piece is looking so good though. Look at that rodent burrow over there. All right. So, getting good sun today. It's nice and warm. So good, look at those burrows. All right guys, here's our first find of the day. I just flipped this pair of Southern Redback Salamanders together. This is the time of year when these guys are reproducing, so I'm just gonna put them back under their cover and let them get back to it. But this one is actually a huge female, I, I believe it's female at least, with a smaller male. So we'll put them back under their cover. Here's our next salamander of the day. Nice little four toed. This is a nice one to see in this area because it's kind of away from where we usually see them, but they are pretty common in this little spot. I found a couple here with Will Robertson last year. Yeah, this one looks like a gravid female. She's probably gonna end up laying her eggs under there. So I'm gonna put her right back and we'll get back to flipping. And here's another four toed. This one's barely even under the log. <laughs> like there's just that much of an area where this log actually touches the ground and he was wedged in there. That's in C2, we'll pull him out. This one looks like a little male. All right, bud, back to your two square inches of hiding space. Go on, there you go. Here's a couple of egg masses. These look like chorus frog to me but I'm not positive. You can see they've been here a while. These ones actually are developing pretty fast. You can see the, the vague shape of a tadpole in there. There's tons of them in here. Let's see if I can walk any further without stepping on any. There's another one there, another one there. Tons of them. Well, the usual areas I hit at this spot have not been terribly productive. We saw a couple of four toads and a couple of red backs. And that has been it so far. And it's starting to get kind of late, so I think I'm gonna head over to an area that I haven't been to here, that I've had my eye on for a while. And we're gonna see what's going on over there. Hopefully there will be a few more amphibians. And then if that doesn't go terribly well, we'll probably go home and wait for the rain that's supposed to come in tonight and walk the road when it hits. Well. There's no denying it looks good for amphibians. It's just a matter of whether or not there's anything 
that I can get to because it's all underwater. Look at this. This looks king snaky too. Nice open edge right here by the water. I'm going to walk around out here. There's tons of stuff swimming. I don't know if that's fish that got flooded into here from the creek or potentially even uh, marbled salamander larvae. But yeah, this looks good. I'm going to work it for a little bit and see what I can turn up. So under this log, we got two marbles here. Really good looking pair. And then down at this end, we got a third marble. Maybe we're getting into some salamanders. I'm going to move these guys out of the way and put their log back. Very nice. Three marbled salamanders under one log. So that was actually the first log I found to flip in this little area, and now we've got a bunch coming up, so. Let's see if this whole area is as good as that first log. Nobody under that one. Nobody under that one. And nobody under that one. So a three for one under the first log and nothing under the next three. It's not something you see too often in the Georgia Piedmont. It's a real nice palmetto growing out here in this floodplain. Exactly one of them. I don't see any others. It's really cool though. The upland chorus frogs are going off in this ditch. I thought I heard some wood frogs in the distance, but I'm not hearing any now that I'm up close. Well, it looks like those marbles might be the last thing this area has to offer today. Which is fine, we did okay. I see a decent log over here. We're gonna go flip. And uh, I'm sure we'll see some stuff later tonight when we get out on the roads. But I think for now, I'm gonna make my way back to the car, flip anything decent I see between here and there. Go grab some food and head home and relax for a little bit before the rain hits. If it was coming in a little bit earlier, I'd say I'd just stay out here, but it looks like it's gonna be like 1 a.m. potentially. I don't want to twiddle my thumbs out here until then, so we're going to go home. Well, I ended up staying up until 2 a.m. waiting for it to rain, and it never rained. And somewhere between 2 and 3, I fell asleep waiting for it to start raining. And uh, I woke up this morning, and it's raining. But <laughs> needless to say, I didn't get out to find any salamanders last night. Because the rain that was supposed to come in at like 11 o'clock didn't come in until sometime after 2 or 3. But that has kind of been a trend this year so far. And really at the end of last year, just the weather forecast being wrong enough to completely screw me over. And just right enough that they were right about the rain. But instead of raining last night when I could have used rain to find salamanders, it's just going to rain all day. So... And rain during the daytime in the winter is not particularly useful for anything. But hey, at least we ended up seeing some stuff yesterday. I'll probably end up uploading this as a quick little video. I know nothing I know nothing terribly exciting happened, but it'll just be an extra video for the week. It's looking like the next couple of days are going to be incredibly cold again after today. So I'm probably going to go into editing mode, try to get these videos out while I wait for a turn in the forecast that will bring some warmer weather. So... Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode once it warms up a little bit.